Hi there. Taking you along on my walk again. I'm in La Marsa. The question I get asked here in Tunisia the most is, what brings you to Tunisia? <laughs> How did you find out about Tunisia? <clears throat> and I really have a bad answer. My answer is really not good because I'm here really pretty randomly. I don't have a long-term stay visa for the Schengen zone. So the Schengen zone is Europe, basically. Which means that I can only stay for up to 90 days in uh, all of Europe. <clears throat> Exceptions being the UK, Ireland, and the extreme eastern countries like Albania and Montenegro. Or else I have to leave the continent. So, <clears throat> at first I thought I was going to go to Albania or Montenegro. Um, but then, my mom pointed out to me that Morocco in North Africa is not far away from Portugal where we were going to hang out for Christmas and uh, speak French. As soon as I heard that they speak French, I was very interested and then <clears throat> I did some searching of like images and everything I saw really impressed me. So I thought, okay, okay, I can go chill out in Morocco. <clears throat> now the thing is, is that I needed to be gone for like 90 days um, and in Morocco I could only stay for 90 days so like you know just, just um, like one day there that to be safe I, I still needed to be out of the Schengen zone. Now, I don't like to um, call things close and I don't like to um, travel on weekdays because I'm working full time. So, I was like, okay, it doesn't make any sense to spend three months in Morocco and then one day, fly to another country for like one or two days and then fly back to Paris. So why don't I find another country where I could hang out for like over a month and split my time between Morocco and this other country? So then the question became, well, what fits the bill, right? So I was on Google Flights just looking at flights and um, I figured out that it's really easy to get from Marrakesh to Tunisia. Tunisia is within spitting distance of the Schengen zone. I mean, I can even see it today. There's an Italian island that you can see from this beach. And it's like, beautiful. I mean, I looked at the uh, photos to see uh, what is there in Tunisia and um, I honestly didn't believe the photos. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right. That looks like Greece, you know? Um, but I was like, I'm willing to give it a shot. Yeah. And so that is why I bought the tickets to come here. That is why I'm here. It's completely random and it's um like i guess really lucky because i love it here um and the the photos are real the photos are true it is unbelievably beautiful um at times i feel like i'm in california at other times i feel like i'm in greece <clears throat> sometimes i even feel like i'm in hawaii So, I mean, within two days, I was thinking to myself, I could retire here. Like, this is some place, like, I would be interested in living, <laughs> like, for real. <clears throat> so that's my story. That is why I'm here in Tunisia. 
apologized. I mean, Tunisians who are watching this because the country deserves a much better reason than just, oh, hey, randomly needed someone to chill while waiting to go back to Paris. Man alive, this is a great place to chill. All right, so, catch you later.